3-0 over Central Arkansas. Overall thoughts on the way your team played tonight? Yeah, we did enough to win. Um, we weren't great. We weren't great through the midfield. Uh, we weren't great in the individual duels, but you know, we did enough to to create three goals. And you know, I think we had you know, 28 shots or something like that. Eight really good chances. So you know, we're happy with it, but we can be better. I told them at halftime we need to be better, and we were better for parts of it, and then made a bunch of subs in the second half. You came into this game off of your first conference win at Tulsa, and you've got a nationally ranked team coming in Sunday. Were you and your staff worried at all about this being sort of a trap game with sure. UCA dropped yeah, in the middle? Yeah, we talked about the trap multiple times with the guys. Uh, have a big game at Tulsa on Saturday night, and then you know ride home on the bus on Sunday, and quickly prepare for you know on Monday with the scouting report, and then you know, come out and play today. It's not an ideal prep time, but. It's, it's good enough. It's what we had. So, you know, we talked a lot about the trap game, and they had enough uh, good pieces that could hurt us, and they created a few really good chances. Some moving parts on the back end. Uh, Tom Haney's been playing the last couple of games in the middle, and you went back to Grant Makala in goal. Overall, I mean, obviously you got the shutout, but what did you think of the defensive end and the communication back there? Yeah, we were fine. It wasn't great. Um, yeah, it was, it was not our best performance, but as I said, we, we did enough. Um, we were okay building out. Kind of got back, got a little too far apart, and they like, isolated Tom with Brodacki, who's, who's a dangerous kid. You know, he can score 44 goals in college. It's a lot of goals, you know, so we were a little naive to, to leave Tom alone and got a little stretched in the three, but overall he had two really good looks at goal that, that Grant uh, Grant made big saves on one 30 seconds into the game uh, Gabriel cost a couple of assists tonight and there are times that he looks like he's I mean he's such a creative player and you spoke after one of his first couple of games about how he's sort of getting used to everybody right how much more is there in him because he looks like he's almost playing a different game than some yeah, other folks he sometimes. sees the game and, and differently than most players, but um, when you can get, you know, Gabriel, Canute, and McLaughlin close together and they can associate and they, they can they can do some pretty neat things together, you know, they their movement together and how they understand where the other one's going, um, it, it can create some really good chances, so it's, it's fun to watch for sure. It looked like uh, Central Arkansas pressed a lot outside taking away some of that space on the flank for Eddie Manjoma and Nick Taylor. Is that frustrating for your team since so often oh, you build up on the outside like that? Yeah, if they're going to do what they're going to do. It's our job to, uh, you know, figure it out and be able to break them down. You know, if teams take away take away Eddie and take away Nick, um, you have to be good enough to play through the line through the middle. And you know, at times our center backs would bring the ball forward and it happened more in the first half. We could play passes between them and, you know, find the attacking midfielder and turn in there. So. That created a lot of chances. They sorted that out in the second half, but um, yeah, the second half was pretty much just survive. You know, just keep playing. And once we got the third goal, it was you know, it was kind of put to bed at that point. Obviously, a big game Sunday. Central Florida comes in. You're both ranked in the top ten. You met in the conference tournament final last year. What kind of showdown do you expect on Sunday? Yeah, it's a big game. Like I don't, I don't need to provide any extra motivation to the guys. Um, no, they're a very good team. It's you know a, a marquee game on the schedule. Um, they'll be up for it. We'll be up for it. It should be should be a really exciting match. So I think it'll be very entertaining for you know for the neutrals for sure. What do you try to clean up or tweak between now and then? Not that you have a lot of practice time. Yeah, but. I mean, we'll get we'll be off tomorrow. We'll train Thursday, train Friday, and then do some light prep work on on Saturday. Um, no, we got to be cleaner how we how we build out. We got to be smarter how we shut down transition. There, there's a bunch of things just at the top of my head, but I'll look at the video tonight or, or tomorrow morning and you know put something together, and we'll have two good sessions Thursday, Friday, and be ready for Sunday. All right, uh, just two quick questions. Uh, the team celebrates after every single goal, like as a full team. Like, what do you think about like the camaraderie of this team and how yeah, different it is than like, most of the teams you play? That's a good question. Um, yeah, it started. I mean, they always celebrate together, but we've had some. Uh, I didn't know it was coming, but we had some choreographed celebrations at Tulsa, which were very entertaining to see. Um, 
Yeah, it, it's nice. I mean, when, when teams have those little rituals and nuances to their relationships, it's, it speaks volumes for you know how they care about each other and how committed they are, and, and that carries over on the field. So um, we always tell the guys that they need to celebrate with their teammates because there's a lot of guys on that bench that work really hard in training so that those 11 on the field can express themselves and celebrate. So when you score a goal, you better celebrate with your teammates because those guys are sacrificing for you to have that opportunity. So it's always neat to see when they do that. Um, what has been like the most unexpected part of the season? Like some of the guys said that you were maybe just like, wow, like we didn't necessarily drill this into them in practice, but they all get it. Yeah, I think, you know, the way that Canute, Gabriel, and Garrett can relate to each other in the attacking third, like that's pretty neat. It's something we, we train, but I mean, those are three very dangerous players and can do some special things. Um, you know, and then we've had some guys that had to step in and, and play roles that you know, they weren't expected to play. And, and Tom's played, I don't know how many games he's starting now, but um, you know, he's the fourth of the, the three center backs. And you know, Phillip's been hurt, and Tom's come in and done a wonderful job. I mean, he's, he's been outstanding. And, and Shane as well. I mean, Shane you know, got a call. I met him on a Friday morning to tell him that Grant was sick and he couldn't play. And you know, Shane stepped in that night and played wonderfully. And, Got a shutout against St. Louis and say to PK, and you know he was big time for us. So um, the guys are ready when they're called on, which is nice, and you know they've stepped up when uh, when they needed to. That's amazing. That's the last question. Um, what do you think that this team does like the best? What do they do the best? Yeah. Um, that's a good one. I would say. Man, I hope it's the details of how we defend. We've given up three goals. Um, you know, one was against Tulsa in a 5-1 game, and then we gave up an own goal here. Uh, we gave up a bad goal against Denver. But, you know, being able to, those small details of how we defended, we're committed to blocking shots and denying crosses and entries in the box, those details will ultimately define the season. It's not necessarily being able to score three, four, five goals a game. That's nice, but there's going to be a game that we need to win 1-0, and having the guys committed and bought into those sorts of uh, you know, small details are really nice.